All right, what's going on guys? Today I have an awesome video for you. Um, I am breaking down a 5.1 million view reel. Um, I had a reel go viral on another account, um, not Million Shark. Uh, my most viral reel on Million Shark, in full disclosure, is 1.5 million. Um, actually hit that around the same time I had this reel hit that I'm gonna break down, um, go. <laughs> Um, hit 5.1 million as well. They were both going viral at the same time. This this reel that I posted on one of my other accounts, IG Barbell Club, um, just fucking blew it out of the water. Just smashed it and and just whoosh, went through the roof. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the reel. Um, my personal take on why I believe it went viral. Um, the timeline it took for that reel to go viral. And I'm going to dive into some of the numbers and show you guys how many followers I got and um, how many accounts it reached and the whole nine. So that being said, let's dive right in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and play this reel for you really quick. This is mm -hmm. the exact reel I posted. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't play it. Probably should test this out before I start mm -hmm. recording. All right. Anyway, it's literally this guy who's mm -hmm. at a outdoor gym. I believe this is um, in China or Japan. Mm -hmm. um, he's basically kicking it with his foot, and then he kicks it too hard, mm -hmm. and it hits his shin. Um, and they added some sound effects mm -hmm. um, where it goes, ouch, and like, ooh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, very short. It's five seconds long. That's it. Just five quick seconds mm -hmm. of this guy literally hitting himself in his shin um, with a, like an outdoor cardio machine. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very comedic reel. Um, mm -hmm. I posted. So the only thing I did different on this reel when I reposted is mm -hmm. I added um, the little guy laughing um, and, the, and I re-edited mm -hmm. the caption to be like, oops. And I added a couple hashtags. Um, mm -hmm. It's very relatable. Um, so this is something that like anybody could do. I could go mm -hmm. uh, to an outdoor gym um, today and basically recreate this reel in in, mm -hmm. in five seconds. Like it's something that's very relatable for anybody to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't take a lot of skill. Like there's a ton of like viral videos that have gone out where people mm -hmm. are doing dances and whatnot. I can't dance, but this is definitely like a reel I could pretty much recreate mm -hmm. off of that. Um, and it also invoked discussion. I had a lot of interaction on it, tons of comments. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually, I have my phone right here, so let me dive in and get you an exact mm -hmm. number of comments that we had on it, too. Um, I'm not sure if I posted mm -hmm. the amount of comments. So it's still sitting mm -hmm. at 5.1. I had about 220,000 likes and 468 mm -hmm. comments. Um, so it's a lot of people were going back and forth on this mm -hmm. reel of like, oh, the guy's wearing a shin guard, you know, you know it's fake, it was staged. Mm -hmm. You guys have to keep in mind when it comes to reels, when it comes to anything social media, mm -hmm. positive, negative, neutral, doesn't matter. A comment's a comment, a like's a like, mm -hmm. a share's a share, and engagement is engagement. So I was actually, mm -hmm. I didn't delete any bad comments. I didn't like, touch the comments. I didn't try to filter anybody. I mm -hmm. let them have at it. If they wanted to have heated discussions about this guy wearing a shit guard mm -hmm. and recreating this video and doing this like that, I don't care because guess what? what end of the day, pushing mm -hmm. the shove. I hit 5.1 million views on my account. So, the posting timeline. So I originally posted this reel uh, unknowingly on April Fool's Day here in America on April 1st. So that's when I originally had this reel posted. Um, again, you can actually see it right there. There's a screenshot of my timeline that you can actually go to IG Powerball Club and you can see this reel there. You can see all the other reels. I don't touch this account very often. Um, I was actually scrolling on this account and I, I came across this video um, on some of the other so on another page. I um, haven't done my research. And once I find that page, once I find the original reel that I posted, I will 100 percent give that page a shout out um, because they gave me a huge boost on this page. Um, I basically looked at it. I laughed hysterically because I was like, yeah, this is hilarious. I was like, screw it. And I reposted it. Um, so I basically downloaded the Instagram repost app. Um, grab the link and um, just grab the video, grab the caption and just uploaded it. Again, I added the little gif of the, the dude laughing. 
Um, and I edited the caption and hashtags to just like basic stuff. You know, I kept it really short, sweet, and to the point. Um, and I didn't expect this to go anywhere. I was hoping for, I was hoping for a hundred views at most because that's, you know, this account was getting like anywhere from like 100 to a thousand views per reel. So, um, it actually didn't start generating traction. And you can see with the, when I go to the next slide for the numbers, it didn't start generating traction till about April 26th. That's when you could actually see on the timeline. It goes like this over a month and then then shoots up. So it was actually sitting on my account for a solid three weeks of doing nothing. Like literally it was just doing nothing on my account. Nobody was watching it. Nobody was commenting. Nobody was interacting. All of a sudden, uh, between April 26th and April 27th, I started getting a ton of notifications of liking. Um, I started getting those, um, hey, your reel has 5,000 views. Hey, your reel has 20,000 views. Hey, your reel has 50,000 views. I started getting a lot of those. And I actually saw this reel. Um, I looked at it April 26th and going into April 27th, um, you know, April 26th was about the time when I saw it got like, it was, it was rate, it was rising up to the 1 million mark. So again, I'm saying it gained traction um, around April 26th because that's when it went from like 100K to about 999K. And then on April 27th, that's when I hit my first million views on this one. It literally took a day, not even a day to double that and hit 2 million. Um, as of the time that I'm recording this video, which is May 4th, um, I'm doing this um, same day. Um, I'm still sitting at 5.1, but I hit 5.1 million way before May 4th. Um, so basically from April 1st to April 31st, I hit the 5 million mark on, on this account. And you could actually, I will be more than open with this. My numbers have gone down drastically since um, May 1st hit. So this is definitely um, boosted up within a four or five day span and then um, cooled off. So now breaking down the numbers um, and you could see on that timeline, how it like leveled out. That's how the, that's a 30 day um, screenshot of, of the accounts reached, how it just goes, it's a flat line, flat line, and then literally it spikes right at the end of the month, like skyrockets. So over the course of 30 days, I reached 5.2 million accounts, had 193 plus content interactions. Um, I've gained about 1,700 followers. That's a very rough estimate. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take a screenshot on April 1st when I posted this. I did not think this reel was gonna go viral. Um, but I've had over 5.4 million impressions on this. Um, so you're saying, Matt, well, like, why do I have 5.4 million impressions, but 5.2 million accounts were reached because people have shared this and they may have not actually hit my page. They may have just been sharing it in a DM or tagging somebody in a comment. Um, and that counts as an, as an impression, as a reach. So it's definitely, you know, you could see by the numbers how it just went and it just skyrocketed right over the last month. So a lot of these followers, I was getting like two, I could actually, will tell you the numbers right now. Uh, let me go here real quick. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna post this on the screen, but I will, I'm literally on my phone right now on the IG Barbell Club account so you guys could see. And I am going to check out my professional dashboard. And on the performance, um, literally Monday or Sunday, April 25th, 47 overall followers. So I'm not counting unfollowers, just people following me um, overall. So it was 55 follows, eight unfollows for 47 actual follows. Um, the next day, the 26th was 125, then 221, then 293, then 555, then 525, and then now I'm scaling down on the first. So I was definitely getting a ton of traction. So I had about 1,700 followers just off this one reel alone. Um, I was actually this close. I was like three followers away from hitting 3,500 followers on this account. Um, I've lost almost 100 followers in the last four days. Um, just because I haven't really been keeping up with the content on this account. It's just kind of cooled off. Um, again, you could see, I forgot I had this slide. You could see the trend where it's like April 3rd, April 10th, April 17th, and April 24th to May 2nd. It just skyrockets and then it falls and plateaus. Um, so that's 5.2 million accounts reached in 30 days. 4.7 were reached in the last seven days of posting alone. 
So in the real hit in the last seven days, that's when I got the absolute most traction. So you can see, you don't have to, you don't have to gain the traction on the reel right off the bat. Let that sit on your account. Let that soak in. Let that marinate because if it takes off, you could get results like this too. So currently I'm at 3,400 followers. Um, that number is actually, um, pretty much spot on. I think maybe minus two more. I'm at 3,401. So I lost six followers since I took that screenshot yesterday, but it's important to realize that literally with one reel, I doubled the amount of followers on an account with one reel, one viral reel doubled the amount of followers on an account. Um, and I've heard story after story after story of other accounts that have been hitting it big with reels where they're getting hundreds of thousands of followers um, and just skyrocketing at that. So it's definitely possible. Um, unfortunately, there's no, there's no true formula to getting a reel to go viral. Um, my personal opinion, and I've talked with a couple people about this, I'm 99% certain it hit a Reddit feed somewhere and it just went through the roof off of a Reddit feed where somebody linked it to my account and it just kind of, it just kind of blew up from there. So again, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys could see that there is actual growth. This is organic growth. I had no money in this account at all. I've never paid for an ad on this account. Um, I didn't pay to boost this at all. Um, this is literally just me posting it with a couple hashtags and throwing it in the air and seeing what I could do with it. Um, and I got 1700 followers up from it. So hopefully you guys, um, got a little motivation. Um, hopefully you get into posting reels. Um, and honestly, that one reel boosted all the other reels. I had, all of these reels are well over a thousand, um, a thousand views. Um, some of those track videos that you see right there are actually, um, they were heating up, but they've kind of cooled off. Um, the one on the far right, um, with the girl running, um, that was hitting like, I think that hit like 30 K already. And I thought it was going to, I thought it was going to be my next viral one, but you just have to keep looking until you find the right one. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Um, and, um, Thank you and make sure you like and subscribe this video and I'll be back with another one soon.